Hi guys, thank you very much for joining me. Really excited to have you here because I'm sharing with you an idea that, honestly, I only kind of came up with very recently. Um, I'm not saying that I created this idea, I definitely didn't, but it's the first time that I'd really uh, experienced it because we're going to be looking at the open A minor pentatonic scale. Now, I don't know. Crazy, crazy groundbreaking stuff this, right? But when you're talking about the, you know, the A minor or the pentatonic scale, normally you think that's what you want to do, right? And we know the open E scale, the open blues scale. All right, that kind of stuff. But the open A minor pentatonic scale, now that's not something that you normally hear thrown around in guitar circles, right? Uh, or maybe you do, maybe I'm hanging in the wrong circles. I don't really hang in circles. Anyways, <laughs> yeah, I basically came up with this because I like to play, you know, Hendrix kind of stuff. That kind of thing, right? But I wanted to create something that was a little bit more beginner friendly, but you don't need to use your thumb over the top string. You don't need to make any bar chords. So I thought, what if we could play these licks on the open strings? You know, so instead of playing this, I could play this. All right, and then... And see what we can come up with. <clears throat> so rather than play an E minor or an E minor seven, something kind of cool, bluesy and jazzy, I could play an E minor seven over here, right? So that's just like an E minor. Your third finger off. And then implement those kind of licks. And that's what we're going to be looking at. So I'm going to give you a whole progression, right? Using, you know, a kind of one, four, five, a bluesy thing, all using open chords and using the notes from the A minor scale down here. So let's get into it. So before we go right into the lick, I just want to break down the scale, just so that you know the notes and you can do your own kind of thing with it as well. So basically, it would be the shape four pentatonic box, but we're using the open strings. So we start on the A string, right? If we start with that open A note, because we're in the key of A minor, we get A, all right? So we get zero, three, zero, two, zero, two, one, three, zero three and then we get this extension of it as well where we can slide up to five in both strings all right so play around with that a little bit first get your fingers used to that and then you're ready to mix and match some chords and scales so, again, we're going to start with our E minor 7, right? So, again, that is just an E minor with your third finger taken off. I'm going to get the bass note first, the open A string. I'm going to strum. It's a lovely sound, that. E minor 7. And then I'm going to play this like. Alright, so I'm hammering on to on the G string, and then I'm getting my first finger on 1 on the B. Then I'm hammering on between one and three, with my third finger. Then pulling that off. All right. Then back to two on the G, and then one on the uh, the B. Then I can start to strum a little bit more once I get comfortable with that idea. thinking about what I'm doing there, I'm just getting the bass, two in the bass, down up, up, all right, then coming into the lick, but again, you know, when I play this, I'll probably play it a little bit different every time, but you can kind of do your own thing with it, that is the basis of the first lick, now the second lick, 
What I'm going to do is I'm going to use that little extension and do that, right? So I'm going to slide my third finger from three to five on the B, get one on the, uh, oh sorry, three on the high E, slide back down with my third finger from five to three, and then one on the B, okay? Again, just get used to a nice simple. Get used to just mixing and matching those chords. So once we've got that under our fingers, right, we want to then add a little bit more strumming, and then uh, implementing both of those licks. All right, so we could have something like this. Sounds great, all right, I'm happy with that. But we're crying out for another chord, right? So we want to play a one, four, five. We've got our A minor seven. Our four chord would be a D. And we can choose to play a D minor seven, actually. And we've got that right in our doorstep here because if we bar the bottom two strings in the first fret, we get a middle finger on two on the G, and we play the open D string, we have a D minor seven. And again, we can use these notes that are right in our doorstep. I could do similar kind of lick, but this time I'm hammering on between one and three on the B. Hammer on pull off, one to three in the high E. Back to three on the B, and then uh, one on the high E. works as well. We could also bring that lick, uh, the other lick in as well. So that gives us another option with our D minor 7. Now we also need a 5 chord, right? So if we're playing a 1-4-5, we've got our, our E minor 7, our D minor 7. Now we could move this up two frets and that would work, right? But we couldn't play the open string, right? Because that's a D and just playing the bottom three strings, this is essentially just a G triad. We could get the E note here, which means we'd need to play it like this. To be honest, I'm not used to that shape, so I'm not going to teach it to you. Instead, what we could do is use the classic Oasis chord as our E minor 7, right? So just playing an E minor and our fingers there in the bottom two strings. And with my fingers here, I could... Come out with uh, a couple of licks there and experiment with that. Before going any further, guys, I just want to make sure that you have downloaded my new app because if you like my lessons and stuff, then you should you should download it because there's lots of cool stuff on there. You've got my campfire acoustic riffs, which is very popular. You've also got my easy songs catalog, my beginners course, and that's all free. You have got the option to pay for a membership for like five ninety nine a month, and you get all my lessons every week, um, plus a bunch of other cool stuff like my blues course and things like that. And you've got my brand new course, Guitar Ascension, which covers everything from blues, triads, caged, music theory, chord embellishments, all that stuff, right? So download it, links in the description. Okay. All right, so let's get into the nitty gritty now. We've got our three chords, we've got an E minor seven, we've got a D minor seven, and an E minor seven. And what we can do is create a 12 bar blues with that. Um, so one bar, for example, would be playing a chord, playing a lick, that's one bar, that's two bars, alright, so I could play four bars in A minor 7, two bars in D minor 7, two bars in A minor 7 again, and then that's eight bars, alright, so we can finish it off with an E minor 7, D minor 7, a minor 7, and then an A minor 7 again, and that's my 12 bar blues. So we've got the chords, we've got the licks, let's see what we can do.
And that's it guys, you know again you can use this as a template, you can take the legs, take the cords, do your own thing with them, completely up to you. Again this is to give you the tools to do some cool stuff with your guitar. Anyways I hope you enjoyed that, um, if you did let me know in the comments and I will see you soon for the next lesson.